Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and I'm going to show you how to find the stomata in a leaf and look at them underneath the microscope. And so basically, I'll be using two types of leaves today. I'm going to use a dandelion leaf, which is a dicot. You can see that its veins are branching out. And then I'm going to use a monocot leaf. And this is a simple blade of grass that I just picked outside. And where the stomata are going to be found is a little bit different in a monocot and a dicot. But if you look at them to the naked eye, and most trees will put a lot of their stomata on the underside, if you look at a leaf just with the naked eye, you can't see it. Uh, and really, you can't see a stomata in general because a stomata is simply going to be an opening or a hole in the leaf. Uh, it's going to be surrounded by guard cells, and the guard cells can open and close to regulate the amount of water that comes in or goes out and carbon dioxide that comes in. But basically, this is all you need uh, two leaves. Uh, you're going to need a little bit of fingernail polish. Uh, I use uh, Make sure you use clear fingernail polish. I'm using Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails. You're also going to need a little bit of transparent tape. And then finally, you're going to need a microscope slide. Uh, now, you can do this, but you're never going to be able to see the stomata unless you actually have a microscope. And so what's the first thing you do is you're going to take your leaf and you're going to paint a small section on the underside of it with some of this fingernail polish. It doesn't have to be super thick. The, the more thick it is, the longer it's going to take for it to dry. And I'm going to paint another little section on the underside of the dandelion leaf. Like that. And now you simply want to let it dry. And so basically I'll let you see this. So I've painted on the underside of the leaf. And now I want to let it completely dry. So that basically what I'm doing is I'm getting that fingernail polish to adhere to the epidermis or the top layer on the leaf and then I'll be able to pull it off. So this takes a little while and so I'm just going to sit back and read and maybe speed up the video a little bit. Okay, it looks like the leaves are dry now, and so a good way to tell that is if you just touch on it. If it's not tacky anymore, then it should be good to go. Uh, so both of these are ready. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of tape. I'm then going to put it on the section where I've painted, and then you're going to push down. You have to push down a little bit, so you're going to apply a little bit of pressure on it. You want to make sure that you've covered every place of the leaf. And then essentially what you're going to do is you're going to peel it off. And if you do it really carefully, what you'll get is an impression of the leaf. Now I can just simply put that on my microscope side. So it can look like that. And so basically, I don't know if you can see that, but what we now have is an impression of just the epidermal cells. We've pulled all the epidermal cells off the top. And hopefully we've pulled off the stomata. So let me do that again with the grass, so with the monocot, same thing, going to push down on it like that. you got to play a little bit of pressure with your thumb, then I'm just going to pull it off. So I'm going to get the same thing here. Okay, now I don't need these leaves anymore. I'm going to get my microscope, and I'm going to take a look at this. All right, so I can see the cells, the epidermal cells, and now as I zoom in even closer, I can start to see individual stomata. And so they're going to be spaced kind of randomly in a dicot, and then if I move over to the monocot, let me find that. And so in a monocot, since all of the veins go in the same direction, the stomata are just lined up perfectly along that. And so again, what am I looking at? I'm looking at the guard cells. The guard cells are going to be those cells that surround the stomata. Uh, they regulate what gets in, what gets out, and uh, I hope that's helpful. 